Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Lash Fairy. Today's video is going to be me doing a full set of wispy eyelash extensions. So here you see me just taping my client down. I always use paper tape first and then I go in on top with clear tape. The reason for this is I believe that when you get the lashes stuck to the tape, it's easier to remove off of the clear tape rather than the paper tape. So there's two different ways you could tape. You could either tape like this with the client's eyes shut. Um, this is a little bit easier for people that tend to flinch a lot or blink a lot or people that are new at eyelash extensions. Or you could have your client look all the way back at you and tape that way. You want to shake your glue for anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute between every single client and then use only one drop of glue. For my tweezers, I always use 45 degree tweezers to isolate and volume tweezers to make my fans. So what makes wispy sets different is we're going to be making spikes. So basically, instead of making a wide fan, you're going to be picking up your lashes and making the fans almost close. Now when we're making the spikes, it's very important that um, they're not wide at all. You want to be able to see them through the rest of the lashes. You want them to stand out. So we're going to make closed fans just like this and then we're going to place them sporadically throughout the eye. You don't want to put too many spikes right next to each other because then it doesn't really look wispy. It just starts to look like a regular lash set. So you don't want to put too many and you don't want them to be too close together. You're going to always make sure your spikes are a two to three length jump. So meaning if you're doing 12s as your base, you want it to be at least um, a 14 or a 15 and so on. So basically the way you can tell what size you want your spikes is you're going to ask your client what the longest length they want. Say they say 17 and they want a cat eye, I would make my spikes 17, 16, and 15. I always like to do at least three lengths on my lash sets. And then I would make um, a regular cat eye with my wide fans two to three lengths shorter. I will fill it in as you'll see as we continue on.
So the great thing about wispy sets is you could be as creative as you want. So I believe I did mostly 17s on her and then I began putting 16 spikes uh, uh, closer to the inner corner and then I filled in with 12s and 13 for my base. So your base are going to be your wide fans and your normal fans and then your spikes are going to be your closed fans. So remember with your spikes you're not putting too many and with your um, base, your wide fans, you're going to try to fill it up and fill in the gaps and make it look full.